stick. Okay. Give it a second. <laughs> I just have to do this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, I want to be really silly. No, actually. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. And yes, you're used to hearing me talk to you about news and what's happening in the world today. Well, for us, the big news today is Kickstarter. We just started our Kickstarter campaign for Christmas it is our live stream Christmas special. Because since we cover news, we understand that, well, let's just say, Christmas is never going to be the same. It has, as many of you know, it's no longer politically correct and people are saying oh, that word happy holidays. But they get worked up if you say Merry Christmas. Although they don't get worked up if you say Happy Kwanzaa or Happy Hanukkah. Hmm. Anyway, we've got a campaign for mobile conversion because we're doing our live stream Christmas special. It kicks off, or actually it just kicked off on Kickstarter, so we're really excited. We're going to be bringing you daily updates because, of course, it's a wonderful place for product placement and Christmas music history. Oh, yeah, that's right. I guess I better bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah. I mean, basically, um, you know, actually, I brought Monty's, remember Monty's family from Las Vegas called Bite Me. He's a flea. And Bite Me says that no matter how well the Republicans are doing, the mainstream press seems to say they have no chance whatsoever. I mean, they, these guys are going back. Okay, some guy wrote a book a decade ago. So they went to the book he wrote a decade ago. And, uh, and which he has no relationship today, unlike the president, who supports socialist principles, who supports redistribution of wealth, and has not changed in a decade. This guy basically, he, he wrote a book, at, he's a, basically he should be welcome, the Democrats should love, he's a college professor, wrote a book about slavery, and then when he was no longer a college professor and didn't have to do the publish a parish bit, he, you know, he dropped, you know, he changed his attitudes, but that doesn't make any difference. He's a racist because he wrote that the effects of slavery, okay, slavery is the reason why Afro-Americans are better off today than they were. He said, we'll put it this way, he said, if I, as a Southerner, if I had a choice between having an Afro-American here or in Africa, I would have never brought them over, and then we'd have never had a problem. <laughs> so he said, we, they were brought over, I'm not responsible for bringing over them, so I wrote a book based upon the, you know, the unintended consequences of bringing the people over for slavery, which is they ended up in this world instead of the old world. And well, for them, and they're trying to condemn it. It's well, a, it's a, it's a he wrote thing. about what happened, but here's the part about, if you want to call it slavery, and because they do this in Asian countries, yeah. is a lot of times they have too many children or they have or whatever. They put them into slavery to give them a better life, believe it or not. Okay, we're going to put it this way. Anybody notice that not a spring chick is Asian? Yeah, I mean, and that they and her family, her people were brought here in the 1840s to build the railroad. You think they came voluntarily? Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. it's like <laughs> an America's hidden unemployed, too discouraged to count. I know Obama just okay. Obama does not count people that do not apply for unemployment insurance. Well, and it basically, he's not counting, um, you see, about 6% of the, uh, the unemployment is closer to 14%. He just threw the people off that aren't, aren't employed because, well, they're not applying for unemployment insurance. Well, because, one, there isn't any more money because the states don't have it, the government doesn't have it, and there aren't any jobs even part-time for them to take. Mm -hmm. Because basically what happens is, the people that were doing well are not qualified for jobs at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And Colorado Theater, where gunmen shot 70 people, could reopen. I don't understand. They're trying to get the building torn down. Why? It's, um, okay, well, every time there's a shooting, we should tear down the structure in memorial. No, people got killed. And uh, I mean, I remember when I was in high school, uh, we had a, a, a person go through and basically stab people to death over at the school. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't understand why under, the, under today's philosophy you would automatically raise the high school to the ground in memorial to the people that got killed by an idiot. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, well, we had a bank robbery and somebody stubbed their toe. We need to tear that building down. 
Mm-hmm. And Egypt's Morsi assumes major role in the Middle East. Yeah, he's a member of the Muslim. He basically everything Obama said would not happen has happened. Obama basically uh, invited terrorists into the White House, and now those terrorists are running countries in the Middle East. And anti-austerity protests erupt on the streets of Athens and Madrid. Well, because the premise is, um, you 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 have to cut back. But there are things you can't do. One is you can't fire everybody because when you fire everybody, it means they don't have any resources, which means the country isn't making money. And you can't raise taxes because the instance you like the French, they're going to teach those wealthy people a lesson. So they raise the tax on everybody making over X amount. The only problem is those people have already left the country. So there's nobody bringing in, a, 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 a actually, you know, Bike Me has a thing, the, uh, we have relatives living in England. Here's what Bike Me says about what's going on. Ooh. Yeah, Monty likes it because Bike Me speaks. He said, in order to make up the shortfall of revenue from raising the taxes on the wealthy in England, they have to pass the shortfall on to the people that aren't making any money in England so that it will bring in more tax revenue to fund the social programs. Unfortunately, Nobody is working, and the only way they can get money from the people that aren't working is to seize the property, which isn't worth anything. Yeah. So raising taxes when it, when you nobody is working has a negative effect. They bring in less money all the time. But don't tell that to the Democrats because our Democratic Party will say there is never an example of tax cuts ever helping an economy, but there is great examples of tax, yeah, you know, of raising taxes that work. I can't find any. And anti-austerity protests erupt on the streets of Athens. You know, she likes that. Oh, that's right. It. And Google exact question over Brazil election video. Oh, yeah, because basically what happens is only in the United States that can you put up things that basically are anti-anybody, you know. Uh, even though, okay, even though people put up things that are anti-Obama, they don't get yanked down, they just they just do background checks on all of them to do it and, and basically threaten everyone we can think of. But you, you, they don't take the thing down. You know, anyway, YouTube is on the way out because viral video has had its day. Mm -hmm. And Bangladesh Muslims torture Buddhist temples and homes. Oh, well, yeah, because, I mean, this, that, that's, as the president said, this is the most tolerant religion and the most peaceful religion known to man. It makes their it makes the uh, Catholic and it makes the Catholic and Jewish religions look like they're choir boys. These guys, you know, like uh, they'd have been proud of being Genghis Khan. And Governor Brown signs a bill giving juveniles a second chance. Yeah, uh, basically, uh, what it does is it wipes out their criminal record. Oh, um, when my father was a police officer in the 30s and 40s. They wiped out the criminal, when, you, when you're no longer a juvenile, you can't get into those records. No matter. So what Brown did was, we had a piece of legislation that, uh, and what they wrote another piece of legislation to mirror the older piece of legislation because they have to look like they're actually doing something. It's why we have so many pieces of legislation that just uh, on top of, on top of, on top of, on top of, so. And a victim of Minnesota company shooting called Generous. Yeah, so it, 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 I, you know, the, I, I worry about people that think that people, you know, basically, uh, it, it, there is no excuse. To, uh, it's just like the other day, I bounced a person on my Facebook thing that basically was unhappy with the results. Well, if I'd have been there, I'd have helped trash the stadium also. There's no excuse for that. There, you know, uh, you don't shoot people simply because you get pissed off. You don't burn your building down because you get pissed off. You don't destroy things because you're pissed off. You know, so but, you know that's the way some people are. And Obama, Romney is a good debater. I'm just okay. Oh, he's ba he's basically you know well you know that he he basically he's ba he's playing a smart ass again. When he gets the smart ass attitude, they know that for instance the eleventh that Biden is going to go for the jugular. Unfortunately, Biden is going to be dealing with a guy that is very smart and he doesn't make gaffes like Biden does. So you'll send Biden out to, uh, to lead the war because Biden, I, I will guarantee Biden is, is showing severe signs of aging. That's all it is, folks. He's getting old, Pelosi's getting old, Reid is getting old. They're saying stupid things they wouldn't have said a decade ago because 
the, you know, whereas Obama, if he doesn't have a teleprompter, he basically can't do anything. These people are used to being, you know, they don't need teleprompters. They're, they're smart, but as you get older, you, you know, a lot of people are not gifted with the memory that they can bring things up all the time, and they, they, they make stupid statements. You can count on, they're going to they're gonna have a, a, not a true squad for Biden, they're going to have a gaff squad. Mm. An official man's New York City arrest in Lohan dispute voided. Well, you can't do that. They just did it because they didn't like Lindsay Lohan. That's not the way it works because, well, you know, this woman, she deserved to get the hell beat out of her because she was a hooker. Oh, this guy basically, we what? know that, no, this guy, you know, this man, he basically uh, has killed people, so the fact that he ended up thrown in a ditch, he deserved it. Well, no, there is the call, the law. You basically have equal protection under the law, even if they don't like you. And this what's happening is, is they're letting reputations, okay, Hensley, Lenore Hensley paid more taxes than she owed. She didn't skip paying taxes, she overpaid taxes, but because they disliked her, they threw her I in a jail cell. Like. And O'Reilly and Stewart joust at mock debate. Yeah, basically they said it was boring, there was no humor, and they don't know why the hell they did that because they said uh, uh, Stewart is not a stand up comic, and O'Reilly basically. It is, you know, he, he basically they said he's, he's Ebenezer Scrooge on steroids, is what I'm said. And California gasoline prices hit all time high twice. Well, I know, and they're telling us today they've taken a 12% drop. The only problem is we couldn't find that drop. Mm hmm. Animonte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, there is no such thing as age gently creeping up on you.